Hi everyone! It is almost Halloween, one of the most fun times of the year. And today at vegan.com we're bringing you three very simple treat ideas that are vegan treats that you can bring to Halloween parties or if you're having your own Halloween party you can serve them to your guests. The first one are Mice Krispie Treats. I saw this from Rosanna Pansino who makes YouTube videos and they were so cute I just had to veganize them. So stay tuned to see how to make these adorable Mice Krispie Treats which are especially perfect if you're dressing as a cat for Halloween. The second thing that we're going to be making are Mummy Dogs and this is basically a spin-off of Pigs in a Blanket. All you need are original Pillsbury Crescent Rolls which happen to be vegan and vegan hot dogs and you can make yourself some Mummy dogs. These are all the rage. You see them on Pinterest and all over the internet, but we're showing you that they are easy to make vegan. The third thing that we're going to be making are orange jack-o'-lanterns, which is the most simple treat to make ever. Plus, it's nice to have something healthy on Halloween. To make the Mice Krispie Treats, you're going to need a box of Rice Krispies, a bag of vegan marshmallows, and three tablespoons of vegan butter. Go ahead and melt the butter on low and then add the entire bag or 10 ounces of vegan marshmallows. Then you're going to stir it up really well. It's going to take several minutes until it's completely smushy and melty like this. Then go ahead and add 6 cups of your Rice Krispies. Then mix it all together until it's well combined and then pop it out into a buttered or oiled pan. Then you're going to put some wax paper on top and smush it all together so it's well formed into a nice Rice Krispie Treat block. And then go ahead and cut it into the shapes that you need. Now it's time to melt the chocolate. So take some vegan chocolate chips and melt it in a double broiler or in the microwave. Now we're using a little plastic bag as a DIY piping tool. So go ahead and pour the chocolate into the corner and then create the shapes that you need. Today all we're going to need are ears. And stick those in the freezer for a little bit until they're completely hardened and then you'll, they'll be ready to use for the Mice Krispies. Then we're just going to draw the face on these Mice Krispies. So draw some whiskers, eyes, a nose, and a little tail. And then draw some on the top of the head where you can attach the frozen ears. Voila! Done! Now on to the Mummy Dogs. So take your crescent roll dough and just slice it into long thin strips and then wrap it around your veggie dog. You can use any type of veggie dog and you're probably going to need a few strips of dough uh, for each wrapping and just make it look like a mummy and leave a little bit of, of spot for the eyes to go. So once you've done all eight veggie dogs, which is the number that comes in a package, you're going to go ahead and pop them in the oven and just cook them according to the crescent roll directions. They should be done baking after about 15 minutes or when they're golden brown. So pull them out and they are looking fabulous, smelling great, and ready to eat. And as you can see, they have little spots where we can put the eyes. So take some yellow mustard and put it in a little plastic bag and cut off the tip to make a DIY piping tool. Now on to the Clementine Jack-o'-lanterns. This is the simplest one yet and super healthy. All you need is a black sharpie and you can draw little jack-o'-lantern faces straight onto the oranges. This is a super easy idea, but it's so cute, so it's something that I think everyone should do on Halloween. And those are our three easy vegan Halloween treat ideas. Hope you guys like them, and if you make them, definitely let us know how they go over. I just thought these were such fun ideas. Now, I have a question for you. What are you gonna be for Halloween this year, and what vegan treats will you be making? So leave the answer down in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys and can't wait to read about your Halloweens. Until next time, I will see you later, and as always, you can find more bite-sized vegan videos, tips, recipes, reviews, guides, and so much more information at vegan.com. It's hard to even keep up. Oh, and we just launched our newsletter, so if you haven't subscribed, you can check on over to vegan.com and put your email in, and then you'll get our newsletter every Friday to hear about our latest and greatest content. Okay, I think that's it. Happy almost Halloween. I love you guys, and I'll see you later. Mwah. Meow.